In most cases, when you start to work at a new company, you take over the existing workbooks of your predecessor and you continue to update and expand on this workbook. Now, normally these files are quite large and they contain many tabs and it's not always clear if there is hidden information like comments, some personal information, hidden rows and so on in the file. Now, you never know, some hidden information can be deliberate, whereas some might be completely unintentional. But to find all this out manually can be really time consuming. That's where you can use the inspect document feature. This is an overview of what Excel actually inspects. Now, it's not a complete list. When I switch to the demo, you're going to see you have more options and more was actually also added since Excel 2010. I put the key ones on here. One is it checks for comments in your workbook. The other one is document properties, like including personal information. Has anyone filled, let's say, the author name, the subject title, or some additional custom information? There's also information on pivot tables or external links or links to other files and if there are any existing macros. Also, if your headers and footers have information, because generally if you're working in a file, you might not notice that you have fixed headers or footers until you go in print preview or you print out your document. It also tells you if you have any hidden rows or columns or worksheets. Some of this might be intentionally hidden, some unintentional, it might just be carried over from other users and it might not actually be necessary anymore. The other thing it does is to check for invisible content when objects or even charts can be made invisible from view. To check for this, you will go to File, Check for Issues, Inspect Document. In Excel 2007, you have the Office button and then you go to Prepare and you find this there. You're then asked if you want to save the document before inspection or not. Now, just to have a look at what it finds, you don't necessarily need to save. But I do suggest that you save your file before you start telling the inspector to remove this information. I'm going to say no in this case because we just want to see what options we have and what it finds. Here you can see the list is much longer. This is where it finds stuff. Here it found something on comments, it found some properties under author, pivot table, some hidden rows columns, it found a hidden worksheet, it's one, and some invisible content, so two objects that are invisible. Now the downside of this is that it doesn't tell you exactly where you can find things. Some of them can be obvious, like document properties, you know where to go for that. But comments, I mean, they could be anywhere in your sheets. So some are harder to find because it doesn't tell you the comments we found is in this tab, in this cell. But it's not that hard to find things. So I'm going to show you simple ways of getting around this and finding the information yourself. Now for the document properties, that's easy. It's actually right here. If you go to advanced properties, you can see the name, the general summary, statistics and so on. So here you can see this, the author, there's a company here. So you can check for this information and see if it's okay before you send this out. And there might also be some custom information as well. Now to check for comments, that's something that you have to do sheet by sheet. You don't have to cruise around and, and find them. You can do it faster if you go to find and select. You can look for comments here. It jumped. There is a comment here which says, hello there. I wouldn't be able to highlight all these tabs and look for the comments in them. I have to actually do it tab by tab. The shortcut for this, for the go to special, is actually control G. 
and then you click on special and you get to these options. Looking for hidden worksheets or tabs is easier. So you just have to like right mouse click anywhere down here, click on unhide, and then you will see if there are any sheets that are hidden. In this case, I have T11 is hidden. You can also get to it by going to format, hide and unhide, and you can see unhide sheet or hide sheet. We were also told that we had some hidden columns or hidden rows. Now to find those, it's more tricky because if I highlight this whole thing, I still can't see if something is hidden. I could highlight this and go to format, unhide rows and unhide columns, and it'll just open everything up. But let's say if I wanted to actually just see, is there anything here hidden or not? What you can do is to go back to go to special, so control G, click on visible cells only. And I say, okay. And then you get this line. So this is an indicator that something is hidden there. And I see, uh huh, there was my bonus. I definitely don't want to unintentionally send this out. Okay, so that's one way of getting an indication of which rows and columns are hidden. Next is for the hidden objects. We have two hidden objects on this sheet. Can you find them? Well, they're actually sitting right here, right now, and I can't see them. If I go to Find and Select and go to Selection Pane, you get this. And this shows you all the objects, including comments, that are on this tab. And because I don't see the eye in there, look, if I click on it, there's this eye icon, and the eye means it's visible. Now it's not visible. I have something called my bonus and confidential sitting right here, and I make them visible, and I see, wow, okay, I have these two right here. I didn't notice. And again, this is applicable to each tab. But once you have this activated, you can quickly jump through your tabs and see if you have anything. Here we have some pictures. If I go here, I also have pictures, but they're all visible. That's a good one to check as well before you distribute any workbooks. So now that I know what type of information I have in here, I can go back to inspect document and remove this. Now I do want to take a backup and I do want to save my file. Say yes, inspect. You don't have to remove everything all at once, so you can decide what to remove. The comments are fine, but remove all of these document properties. I don't want that in there. And for my hidden rows and columns, now that I know what is in there, I definitely want to remove that. The hidden worksheet, yes, let's remove that. And my two objects that I had, definitely remove those as well. Let's go back here. You see my objects are gone. My comment is still there because I chose not to remove them. My hidden information is also gone. My column is no longer hidden. And I can check also my properties. And you can see everything is gone. Author, company, all gone. As you can see, it's a good idea to inspect your spreadsheet for these types of hidden information before you share or you distribute your workbook. Now it's time for you to do an exercise. 